This bill is all about redressing the balance between risk and reward. At the moment, our hard-pressed tenants in Scotland take all the risks and the pub-owning companies take all the rewards. And this is illustrated very well in a camera poll which showed that 65% of Scottish tenants earn less than £15,000 a year. That's less than minimum wage. So we need your support to help redress this balance and allow tenants to gain some of the rewards they work so hard to make. It's also important for customers of pubs if licensees are able to make more profit and have more sustainable businesses out of this relationship they can invest into their pubs they can increase the quality and the service and they can invest in local economies and in local employment. The problem is very simply that the large companies operate an unfair model where they take too much of the profit from um, a, a pub's profit leaving the, the, the tenant the small business unable to make a living and often we're talking about the large company taking 80 90 percent um, of profit which is why so many tenants are on such a low income when a pub has a reasonable turnover and a reasonable profit but well, i think from from our perspective we see the legislation as increasing volume for scottish brewers in scottish pubs which will benefit scottish workers um, and that, I mean, we've got a, a main presence within ten, Tenants Caledonian that would see more uh, more of their volume going into Scottish pubs, and that's what Scottish consumers want. Um, we see the legislation as uh, redressing a power imbalance, um, and uh, we don't think responsible landlords have anything to fear from statutory legislation. And finally, it's a question of fairness. Licensees in England and Wales already get the protections of a pub code and a pub adjudicator and it seems only right that licensees in Scotland should enjoy those same protections.